Hi guys, I wanted to talk about yarn organization. Recently I did a video talking about yarn guilt and how it might be important to go through your yarn and get rid of yarn that you don't need. And I love the conversation we had going on about that. So it kind of inspired me to do a quick video talking about yarn organization so that if you're someone like me that you're trying to get some things organized in your house, this will help. Hopefully I'll give some tips and tricks to help. The first tip I have is to actually know how much yarn you have. Now, yesterday I decided to tackle bringing all my yarn downstairs. I figured the best way for me to go through it is when I'm watching TV or something where it's, you know, I can have something to distract me. So I carried, one at a time, six totes of yarn downstairs. I didn't even realize I had that much yarn. So that's one of the things you might find is that when you actually know how much you have, you may find yarn in other places that you didn't know you carried it. And that's kind of what I was finding out in my storage room. That's the first thing you do, see how much you actually have. Step two would be to go through it. Just like I said in that other video, it's important to go through your yarn and weed out what you pretty much are sure you're not gonna make a project with. There's nothing to feel guilty over it because chances are you know somebody that could use that yarn and wouldn't it be better to have them be able to make something with it than it taking up space in your collection for maybe other yarn that you actually would like to get that does inspire you? So never feel guilty about getting rid of yarn. So that's the first thing I did is I went through, I've gone through a couple totes, I got a few more to go, I think I got four more to go through. And I already started seeing stuff that I don't want this yarn, so I put it in a garbage bag to give to somebody. And then I started finding yarn I wanted to use for a temperature blanket, which I've done a video about that recently as well. So I started pulling out my colors for that, and it gave me a chance to see what I had, and realize that I didn't have it organized the way I want. So first you want to see how much yarn you have, then you kind of want to go through your yarn so you're left with what you really want to work with. Then this comes the hard part, how are you actually going to organize it? What way is going to work best for you? And everybody's different. Some people might be able to have bookshelves with a line, you know, with it stacked up on bookshelves possibly. Others prefer totes where they can kind of tuck it away and that's fine as well. So if you kind of kind of think of what your organizing style tends to be and that's how your yarn should probably be organized. And there's plenty of different ways to organize the yarn itself. For example, if you're like me and are going to have it in totes, you may divide it up by whether it's thin yarn all the way up to like bulky yarn, and maybe each tote would represent a yarn thickness. Or your totes could represent colors as well. If you have the space, you might divide all your red yarn and orange yarn and green yarn into their own totes, and that could work. Or what I actually think I'm going to be doing is just organizing it by light color yarn, dark color yarn, and my variegated yarn. I kind of have that in my head as the way that I'm going to need to organize it for me. And it may not work for you, but it's just an idea. And that's what you have to do. You kind of need to make your yarn accessible to you. So think about it that way. Like if you want to be able to make projects, you don't want to be pawing through all your toes looking for a certain color. You want to be able to go to where your yarn is and be like, oh, there's the color I want, and go on with your project. And that's what I was finding out when I was going through my yarn, is I was finding yarn I didn't know I had, and I was like, oh, I would love to make fingerless gloves out of this. Oh, this would be great as a hat. Oh, this would be a good color for my temperature blanket. So it was actually kind of exciting to go through my yarn and see what I have. And I've got, like I said, I'm looking at it. I think I've got like four more totes to go through. And that's what's important, is you go through and you'll be able to see if there's colors you are lacking that much of. Like, uh, so far I haven't come across a lot of white yarn. So that may be yarn that I need to get a couple more skeins of to have on hand. Or I may notice that I don't have a lot of black, so I might go out and try to get a couple more skeins of black to have on hand. And that's what going through your yarn will help, and then figuring out which way to best organize it. So that's just kind of my thought process of when it comes to yarn organization, is the steps that it would take, is going through and finding all your yarn, and purging out what you don't use, and then deciding what way is best for you. It's very easy to get online or on YouTube and see all these glamorous people that have all this organization, but it may not work for you. You have to find out what you're triggered by when it comes to organization. I prefer bins and labels and popping up, throwing stuff in easily. And so that's why organizing my yarn totes by maybe a color, you know, light, dark, and variegated is going to make sense to me. But it may not to you if you're somebody that has a lot of bulky yarn, a lot of thin yarn, and a lot of like regular yarn, you may organize different. And that's what you need to do and figure out what your designated space is and kind of work within that space. Some people have yarn that takes over their whole house and that's fine. I want my yarn to kind of be into one central location if I can. If I'm going to bring the toast downstairs, they all want them to be stacked neatly. If they're in my storage room, again, I want them kind of stacked. I don't want them 
scattered anymore. So think of that, think of the space you actually have to put your yarn in and what's gonna work that way too. So these are just some of my tips and things to be thinking about when you're going through your yarn collection. I hope it kind of helped and gets you, you know, again, thinking about the best way to have your yarn collection be in order to be able to produce the amount of projects you want to produce. If you have any tips about organization for yarn, make sure you share them down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of my new videos. I've got a lot of projects in the work for next year, so I hope you'll join me. And have a great day, and let's get this yarn organized so we can make a lot of projects.